Hello everyone. Welcome to Groovy Tech Academy. This is your host Abdul Majid Mangrio. And today we are going to learn how to set up your global elements and property files in AnyPoint Studio. So, let's get started. Let's create a new project. Let's name it finish. It's taking a while. Okay. So our project is created. So uh, basically today we are learning, going to learn how to use the property files in our mule application and how can we dynamically based on our environment uh, choose which property file should be picked up. So let's get started. Uh, this is the structure of our mule project. Uh, this is the where we have the mule files with the extension of XML. And here in the resources, this is the point where our property files are been kept. So right click new create a folder. Let's name it as a properties. We have created this folder, right click on the folder new and let's create a property file. So let's name it as like uh, dev config dot yeah we can also name it like property or yaml so both are supported in mule 4 finish okay so we have our yaml file the property file created so let's um welcome not and We'll say like welcome to Groovy Tech Academy. Okay, so uh, here we have created one YAML file. Let's create another one as well. Or uh, I suppose that's enough for now. Okay, so we do have the folder and we have a YAML file. So let's get started. Go to your uh, Mule file. So in the, uh, in the start, we will use uh, HTTP listener to expose our service. You can further know about this, uh, like uh, how to expose service and uh, everything in my previous um, tutorials. So let's uh, add the configurations. So here we are going to leave everything as a default. Press OK. And here, this will be the path, the uh, name of our API. So let's name it like um, get property, or you can say uh, like property demo. <clears throat> so this will be the name of our service, which we are exposing. Let's print something. Uh, entered into get properties demo fine and then we will use like transformation okay so before you we go uh, further um now uh, we would like to use these uh, property files in our api in our mule flows we want to use these uh, property files so uh, first we need to create the global definition of these so in every mule file we can see like we have a mule uh, message flow global elements here this is the place where we can create the global elements and the third one is like a configuration the xml uh, section of our file so uh, we can create the global uh, definition for uh, uh, like property file here 
but to it is better approach to create another file mule file and name it something like uh, common uh, config so this should be a practice uh, to keep all the global elements or configuration in a separate file rather than putting uh, each and everything in a single file you are working in whether that is a interface interface one or that's an implementation file so just to categorize it it's better to okay so this is our uh, file let's go to the global elements and to import the properties in our api we will create a configuration of that let's type configuration and we will need configuration properties over here you can simply browse okay and here what's the name it's like uh, dev config dev config double click okay so our uh, configuration file path is here okay let's save it let's uh, come back here in our uh, the main file and over here this is the transformation so in, inside transformation let's try to put some message um this is transformation space and uh what was the name of the property it was welcome not so here these are two types two ways to call the property files in a data weave Th uh, this is one of them let's save it let's try to run it let's wait for a while it's been deployed almost there meanwhile we can prepare the postman request yeah it's deployed let's clear the logs and let's try to hit this service uh let's recall what was the name yeah property demo so this was the name of our service let's try to invoke it uh from postman so the local host 8081 that is the default one i already had a template so let's try to hit it okay so we got the response like this is transformation and uh this was supposed to be uh part of the uh, property files welcome to groovy tech academy so it just worked fine so this was how uh, we are supposed to integrate the property files, the YAML files in our Mule application. So let's go further uh, on the next step. Like we know uh, how to configure that and we have configured. But what if, for instance, over here, I have another file. Like um, let's name it like broad. Uh -huh broad config dot yam and let's copy the same here um welcome to the video uh broad variant so uh this is the case like uh, most uh, when we are using uh when we are creating and using utilizing our applications so we used to put multiple property files like based on the environments like for instance we need to deploy on the dev environment or some files on the u8 or on the prod environment so if we just manually browse and select the specific one 
so that this won't be enough like when we are deploying on the dev it should work like it is hard coded the dev for instance if we are deploying on the u8 on the prod so what should happen so in that case this thing needs to be down dynamic so for that we have a solution like we can pass the params from the runtime okay let's update this and we can use something like um you can name anything like mule dot uh, environment okay so here what we have done is like the folder name slash and this should be the variable the data value passed from the runtime Let's okay save it and let's try to run it again and this time let's try to hit run as mule configuration okay our api is selected go on in the environment add a variable and uh, this was the name which we defined for our variable and uh, so this will be the name of the file which we are just passing like whether we whether we are deploying on the dev environment u8 or prod so this time we are going to pass prod okay apply and let's try to run it yeah so let's wait uh, get deployed so this this is the way like uh, we should follow the uh, protocol standard it is better to uh, create a separate file for all the configuration and uh, for instance if we have some db related or error handling related uh, configuration proper the stuff to do so we should create a separate file for that so that will be like okay we do have an error let's find out what was the issue couldn't find oh we forgot to put a slash there i wait so this was the error okay i think we put a wrong okay this was the issue this was okay and save it yeah so it is uh, redeployed okay let's try to run it again let's try to hit it okay so we now wait an uh, updated uh, like updated message um, welcome to groovy tech academy prod variant so this is how we manage our application while working on different environments they can be multiple so in that uh place we use the parameterized uh, variables which we are passing from the runtime so uh guys this was something related to how to use the property files yaml files in our mule application and we also learn like uh how to manage it if we are working on the multiple environments like prod u8 or any sort of environments or conditions so folks this was all uh, please do subscribe, like, and share my channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.